G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. Um, a bit, just a quick video today. Uh, this is going to sound a bit crazy, but I actually walk around my garden every single day and I do checks. I always check my plants for pests um, and then react quickly. Um, one thing I've learnt is never leave it too late. And on this morning's uh, little walk around, I was at my pomelo and I found what I believe to be a citrus stink bug. Now there's heaps of different types of stink bugs, um, all come in different colours and shapes and whatnot, but generally what they do is they will suck the sap from the leaves and what will happen is your flowers and fruit will fall off. Um, it's very important to try and get rid of them. I'm trying to see if I can find, find one. They're sneaky little things because they see you and they, they'll go around the other side of a branch or a leaf. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, although I can't find many, um, so here's another, see this leaf that's stuck together here, if I open this up there might be a caterpillar or something in here, or in this case nothing, thank God, it's just a, it's just a um, empty silk sort of web, but I also look for that as well, and if you look in here, you can see that raised bump. That's citrus gall wasp. So I'll be treating this this year to try and eradicate that as well. So I'm going to have to treat this. Um, now, yeah, there's several different ways you can treat this for the for the stink bug, and that is you can literally look for them, flick them off, and kill them. Uh, you could spray them off. The powerful jet of water. Uh, again, you're still going to have to try and collect them, though. You can and just kill them, kill them in your, you know, on your foot. Just squash them. Uh, you can use oils, so like you would with any sort of aphid. There's a little friendly spider there that can catch the bugs. Now I have taken a photo of the stink bug I found. I actually saw two of them. And what I'll do is I'll I'll put the photo up so you can see what it looks like. But I'm gonna I'm gonna probably spray this citrus and I'll have to check all my other citrus, that's the mandarins and the oranges to make sure these stink bugs um, don't take over. There's nothing worse than your fruit tree dropping all its flowers and fruit because of a tiny little bug. So what we'll do is we'll treat this today, I think. But it's gonna be a good day today. We're not gonna to get any rain for a couple of days, so. And I'd rather spray this before we get some flowers on it, unfortunately. This, uh, this tree here, which is a mandarin, is just starting to flower. It's gonna, they're going to open up very soon. So I'm not going to treat this one because this will, if I spray this and these flowers open and the bees get it, you'll end up killing the bees. Um, so we won't, we won't um, spray this one. This mandarin is, is uh, I could probably spray. This is a long way from producing any any flowers yet. I wonder if I can get that to focus. Here we go. If you look carefully, there's some tiny little flower buds starting to form just, just here. But they're a long way from opening, so I could probably treat this one. But I'll definitely be treating this one for the stink bug. Uh, when I actually, when I do put the photo up, um, if I'm wrong and it's not a stink bug, um, 
please someone leave a comment and let me know exactly what it is. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, at least helps you identify what these little critters might be. And um, I'm going to get into treating this. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Take care everyone, bye.